I really enjoyed studying geometry. Now you may ask, what does geometry have to do with security? Well, the answer is that in geometry, you have to develop proofs. And the nice thing about developing proofs is that you know where you start, you have your givens, and you know what you're trying to prove. All you have to do is figure out how to get there. It's the same thing with developing a physical security plan. A sound physical security policy will address certain issues. If you understand the issues you need to address, it makes it a little bit easier to develop your policy so that it addresses the issues. So first, we have the facility requirements. What does your facility require to stay in business? Well, what does it mean to stay in business? Well, it means that you can do everything you need to do to produce the output, to produce the product, to produce the service, whatever reason you're in business. You have to decide, how do I produce this good or service? Then say, what do I need to have to produce that good or service? And that will, in turn, let you know what your requirements are to operate your facility. Some are big requirements and some are really nice to have and some are not a big deal. Then, once you understand your facility requirements, you start looking at the specific controls that you need to implement. Controls will be broken out into several different categories. You have administrative controls. Those are the controls which you handle up front. Those are planning type of controls. Those are controls that dictate policies and procedures and tell you how to do things in a secure manner. Then we have physical access controls. Those are the physical implements. Those are the hardware, the things that sit out there that stand between an attacker, perhaps, and your information system. For one example, it might be a fence or a locked door. That would be a physical access control. Then we have technical controls. Technical controls are pieces of software or hardware that help us to secure our assets. So we'll look at each one of those controls in their own little sections. And lastly, we need to be concerned with environment and life safety issues. If your physical security plan, if your policies do not cover keeping a pleasant and safe environment and making your environment support life or support life safely, then you're not going to have a complete policy. So we'll look at each one of these individually.